Danielle, take one mark. Marcella, take two. Hi, uh, my name is Joshua Ryan Brenner, and I am diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois. Never saw my parents together. I got divorced when I was one. My dad went to prison for a year, and my mom was left, you know, to raise me by herself. Despised going to school, like I didn't, I got bullied. I tried very hard to fit in. I couldn't fit in, I tried too hard. It's just, there was never, um, I don't know, it's just, I couldn't really get it. My father would tell me like I wouldn't amount to anything. I think you are a product of your environment, you know, that's why your home is so important. Uh, I had temper tantrums. Um, I feel bad for my mom, because she had to put up with it. When you get older and you see a child in a store throw a tantrum, you're like, damn, you're like, did I really do that? Did I do that to my mother? My mother knew that my father did have bipolar disorder. She brought me to a doctor when I was 10 or 11, and the doctor told my mother, your son will never be normal unless he's on medicine. Risperidol, Trileptol, Zoloft, Ritalin, Adderall. To this day, my mother is convinced that that was like a magic bean, and she gives me this, that I'll take this magic bean and all my problems are gonna weigh in. I told her it's not like that. I think the problem with bipolar for me, at least, is like, I don't know when to stop. It's like, it's either I'm either like zero to 100. It's like I'm either just going like to the top, I'm going full out, or it's like I have no interest whatsoever. I can't stay like still. Like I feel I have a hard time just like doing a routine over a normal like nine to five job. Like I can't remember the last time I had a nine to five job for over a year and I've made it last. When I don't like a situation or if something's like unfair, I get very frustrated very easily. The hardest thing is uh, just being like level-headed in like moments that you don't, you don't feel comfortable in. You can't get away from it. Like if you have to go to work, right? You have to go to work because your boss isn't gonna care that you are having a mental breakdown. He, he doesn't care. Like he's, you're there to work and do your job. I'm very scared to mention that I have bipolar to, to you know, like it, it took me a while, the past girl I was dating to tell her that I had bipolar. Like I, I've been on a date and I told the girl too soon and she didn't talk to me again. With any problem there is in the world today, it's all about education, you know? So obviously there's stereotypes for, for every religion or every ethnicity. And the only way to correct people is to, by educating them. So if you are in a relationship with someone that does have bipolar, please keep this in mind. Have patience and do not be judgmental. If you do that, you'll be all right. <laughs> but anyone that does have bipolar, we're all di you're, you know we're all built differently. You got to find what works for you. So keep trying new things. Being diagnosed with bipolar disorder played a huge role in me becoming an actor because like I am emotional and it's very natural for me to like get into a zone or go somewhere where like a lot of people feel uncomfortable. But I'm so used to being in uncomfortable situations that it doesn't really phase me anymore. Uh, you know, it's a superpower. Bipolar is a superpower, is what they say, so it's my superpower. My faith in God has definitely gone up. I grew up not religious at all, <laughs> whatsoever. When I first showed up at this synagogue or school, they're like, you sure you're in the right place? Because I wasn't wearing a kippah, or... And I'm like, yeah, like, I'm here to see Rabbi Levin. They're like, oh, okay, he's upstairs, like, looking at me like I'm the alien. You know, now they all know me, and they they uh, are they only want what's best for me. At the end of the day, they want to help one another, and, and we need more of that in the world. I was looking at the NAMI website, and the thing I really liked is that there's groups that you could talk about bipolar disorder with, and for me at least, I need to like be in person, look them in the eyes. So I am so excited to see that NAMI has all these local chapters and support groups. For the circumstances I had, I'd like to think I've accomplished a lot. It might not, I might not have all the dollar signs to show for it, but I've definitely lived life and traveled everywhere and hung out with some cool people. I, I truly believe I always try to be better than I was yesterday. It's like my motto. So like, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect. I made many mistakes, but I try to always be better 